I was sorting through some photographs the other day, and I found some of a snowy Christmas that we had here in Dallas a few years ago. That might be the norm where you live, but it is very rare for us. I remember that morning so clearly. We had the Disney parade on television in the background, and I began to cook our Christmas meal. My husband, Barry, is a Southern boy. His mother, Eleanor, had entrusted me with her family recipes passed down from her mother. After Eleanor's death, they became even more precious to me because these are the dishes that Barry grew up with. Macaroni pie, sweet potato casserole, green bean casserole, collard greens, mashed potatoes, cornbread stuffing, and of course, the turkey. I had just put the turkey in the oven when Christian cried out, Mom, look! It's snowing. We all ran into the yard to catch the first few flakes of winter snow. At first, it wasn't much to look at, but over the next few hours, we were blanketed in a thick layer of powdery, sparkling wonder. So beautiful. As the sun began to set and cast its rosy reflection on the glittering white carpet, I stopped for a moment to thank God for the unexpected gift of a winter storm. But not all storms are beautiful or welcome, though, are they? Over the last few years, our nation has had more than its fair share of storms that devastate. We've seen tornadoes wreak havoc, wildfires decimating beautiful land and destroying property. Then, of course, the pandemic of 2020. We do our best to prepare for storms, but they often catch us by surprise. I think that's true in our personal lives as well. Who hasn't faced some devastating personal storm? It can be the loss of a job. It can be the loss of a loved one. It can be an unexpected health crisis. Just like those winter storms outside our door, we don't always see them coming. Those of us who have committed our lives to following God are not exempt from life storms. I think of the words Christ spoke to his closest friends on the night when he was to be betrayed by one who claimed to be his loyal follower. Jesus said, here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart for I have overcome the world. That's John 16 verse 33. I take comfort in that truth, but here's my question. What does it mean to take heart? How do we stand when everything around us is falling? If you're like me, many of the storms you face are not outside your door, but inside your own heart. It can feel as if we're weighed down by the baggage we've been carrying that no one else sees, but we, we feel its weight. Let me ask you a question. What would it look like right now if all your baggage became visible? Not your purse or your groceries, but your internal baggage, the things that we hide from one another. If you saw how much stuff you've been dragging around with you every single day of your life, would you want to keep it? Let me remind you of the glorious exchange that Christ has offered each one of us. I'm sure you know this very familiar verse. Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. I love how those two verses read in the Message Bible. Are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me, get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. May I pray for you? Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for the invitation to bring our baggage to you, to lay it at your feet, and that you've promised that the load that you would give us will be easy to bear and we do it shoulder by shoulder with you. Thank you. In your precious name we pray. Amen.
If you've enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up icon and comment below. We love hearing from you. Please help Trinity reach out to others and share this video with a friend by clicking the share link below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. God bless your day.